<laughs> and your internet went, wow, yeah, what's it's going like, on? Okay, <laughs> I think we're working. Yeah, we're working. Yours is working. That one's off. There it goes. Hey. Yay, hey, we're look, live! It even says you're live now over there. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Did you know that my phone now knows that your phone knows that you're live right now? Yeah. What's your phone doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, lovelies! <laughs> we have the courage kit. Okay, so I have to laugh because our kits are normally black. This one's coming in white. Because <laughs> we needed a bigger box. <laughs> because we had to get a bigger box and we couldn't get the glossy black in this box. Hello, Boxy! Okay, so we're going to reveal all of these fabulous goodies in the gigantic box. Courage kit. Yes. So oh, yes, we should flex. <laughs> Courage. So it's really cool how we come up with this name, and I really wanted to share this piece because I don't think people realize, like, how do you pick which emotion you do each month? Yes, you pick them up at Dixie Rocks. They'll be there tomorrow, Cheyenne. Hi, Jennifer. Yes, and yours will have an extra dream catcher in it, too. So I was going to message you. Kirk was missing a dream catcher. So, <gasps> yes. So I was like, let me know how you got it. And then we did communicate. So I already have a note on your box that it gets an extra bonus. So, and the extra little gift for you for being so patient with <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> so when we pick which emotion, so the first emotions, those came like straight off the bat. The heart healing, the protection, the abundance, the creativity. So from here out, basically it's all through intuition. We ask the angels, the spirits, the universe. It's our job. Me. Okay. I say we because I'm talking about my entourage over here that most of you can't see. Yeah. Um, so I asked them, what is the loudest negative emotion? What's the biggest struggle? And right now it's fear mm -hmm. and that scarcity and that not wanting to move forward and wanting to shrink and hide. And especially because it was cold today, I was like, oh, I'm feeling this. I just want to stay in bed and just like ignore everybody in the world. That yeah. sounds really good right now. Yep. <laughs> so what's the opposite of that? Courage. So this is bringing in your courage. <laughs> I'm so glad I have some fancy, pretty candy to oh, like please. flex those muscles. Like, I'm like, I don't have the biceps and I'm wearing black so you can't see them. So thanks for being eye candy. Well, thank, thank you for being eye candy. Oh. We're just pretty. Aww. <laughs> Aww. See, now you see my friends. <laughs> so courage is the topic of the month. Um, next month for December. Do you want to announce that one is? It will be comfort. Comfort. Because that's what we're going to need next oh, month. Oh, getting in that blanket yeah. and just, uh, mm, the cozy. Yeah. So yeah. first is courage. So first we're going to rally up and pull in those passions and light some fire, release some things, handle some things. And then that way when we're ready to receive that comfort, you're open and you have that space. So these are the things that are going to propel you to that next step. Yeah. You know, it's actually kind of interesting. Alan Watts, I was reading a bunch of with Alan Watts earlier, and I love Alan Watts, he's a philosopher, for those of you who aren't familiar with his work, um, but he was talking about how even when we focus on things like gratitude for Thanksgiving, right, by, by having to purposely look to focus on things like courage or gratitude or whatever, it's acknowledging a lack that we have in our lives, and I thought that was really interesting, especially in this month of Thanksgiving, um, how everybody does, you know, those gratitude posts every day, which is awesome. Love them. Um, yes. But do we lack gratitude? And is that why that's so different? Mm. And so same thing kind of I was feeling with courage. It's like, you know, how do we not lack courage? I know, get a kit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How do we drag that forward? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, and sometimes it's courage just in, well, if we're able to connect with family for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. it's courage in facing family members that you haven't seen. Right. And some of our families, that can be scary. <laughs> My favorite is like, why aren't you and Tyson married yet? <laughs> Are you engaged yet? No, no, we're not. Thanks. By the way, like, I have a life too. Yeah. So, anyways. Okay, enough yeah. about mob drama. Ooh. So, oh, we are giving one of these kids away. Oh, that's right. We forgot to even say that right at the beginning there, huh? Yes, earlier oh. we were talking and it was like, I feel like somebody really, really, really needs this that hasn't subscribed. And so we get to give them away and we're like, yeah. yay, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so, which I love that answer. It's my favorite. It's always a yes. It's always a yes. That's right. Yes, please. Uh, so we are giving one away. So make sure you tag somebody who might love this kit or maybe needs a dose of courage. Mm -hmm. Tag them so they can get entered into that drawing. And if you like it, you get an entry. If you share it, you get five 
the entry. I should do this, not ten. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Five entries, and we're going to draw for that on Wednesday so that it can be tipped out to you. Yes! Tag Callie. She would love it. Okay. You ready to see what's in the kit? I am. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Ta-da! Okay. I'll let you pick first. Oh. Oh, I was just doing a bunch of, like, reading. Oh, should I do that one? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. It's always okay. It's always yes. It's yes. always okay. Oh, it's always yes. We said that. So the first thing is a pitcher jasper necklace pendant. And we kind of debated on this one a little bit because we've done necklaces before and we don't want you wearing a whole bunch of stuff all the time. <laughs> I got all but, my purse down. Yeah, well, you might you look like me. <laughs> you shouldn't wear them all the time, right? You should set your intention with what you're going to be wearing. Um, and so picture Jasper is actually for a fiery box. It is actually very earthy. Um, if you look at really big pictures, pieces of picture Jasper, they look kind of like a red rock here in St. George with all the striations and they paint pictures of landscapes. Um, and so it's very, they say that you can even like divine into those pictures and that that picture tells the story of the land and of the earth. So this is kind of your grounding piece for this very fiery box to connect in that earth energy. I'm like, oh, I have so much to share, but I'm going to save it for... Oh, yeah, the video. So if, you, if you're new to our boxes, so each of the boxes have a video of literally going through every item in the box saying, this is this item, this is what you do with it, here's how you use it. Or meditations where it say, hey, grab this and this and this out of your box so you're going to use this in this practice. Yeah. Or a relief ceremony. So all of them are fully described. Like I'm like, oh, I just want to go off, but if we do, it'll be like two hours long. Right. One of these was really, really long, and I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> but yeah, I do love, yeah. Well, and Jasper also heals a lot of that root chakra exactly, and yeah. that support. Like if you think of like your pelvis area as a big bowl and that's what holds everything, it helps to heal that area. And so a lot of that, if you're a man, it's the masculine of what you're giving to the world. If you're a woman, it's what you're receiving and giving to the world because here's each person that gets, I know there's just no barriers. Like that's what our organs are for. <laughs> and so it heals like a lot of that womb healing and that stability so that you can have courage because how hard is it to have courage when your knees are knocking and you're feeling weak? You need to be able to stand strong to stand up. Mm -hmm. So that's part I of what. That. That's why we need that root chakra. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's my turn to pick. Oh, yeah. Okay. I... Okay, I'm going to pick the pretty little jewelry because you picked the jewelry. Yeah, well, I need to said stand up. So and stand works. up. So yeah. speaking of the feet, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So <laughs> here, I'm going to move yeah. that there so I don't knock it. It's a big box. We didn't want it up. So the next item in here is an anklet. And they're actually different. Each person's getting a different anklet. So this one's the infinity symbol. I'll just come closer so you can see. We're doing more than one camera. So, um, And it's rose gold. So it's that sweetness, but also that fieriness. And there's a purpose behind it. Um, if you do not wear anklets, you can give it to somebody you love, or you can wear it for this intention. Um, the purpose is to, when you're creating intention, you're creating your focus and what you're being courageous on, to give you some guidance and to know the angels are among you, helping you with that first step forward. And so there's a whole piece tying into the anklet. Uh, if you're familiar with wish bracelets and when it breaks, it goes off into the universe and becomes something. There's just some definite symbology in having something on your person, on your feet, saying, no, we're stepping forward. Oh, but we're scared, but we're stepping forward. Oh, but I did, but we're stepping forward. And so it's a nice visual reminder. Plus, they're really pretty. I would have shown you on my feet, but they're down here and I run around barefoot and I'm not sure that they look too pretty today. <laughs> today. <laughs> So it does come with an anklet. Each of them are a little mm -hmm. bit different. Um, and when we pick what goes in the box, we actually go through and it's like, okay, here's this person's name. And then I pick what fits. So if you get something you don't like, it's because you have something to work through. <laughs> but ultimately the thing I've heard the most is, oh, that's what I'm supposed to have. Like some yeah. people, even when they had like an either or, like the moonstone or the Jasper, I had so many people say, oh, originally I wanted the moonstone. And then I was thinking I wanted the Jasper. And then I was like, no, I think the moonstone's prettier. And sure enough, they get like the Jasper, and then they read up what Jasper means. They're like, "Oh, I that totally fits." That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the anklet is the next item in the beautiful box. All right. Should we stack a pile I so we don't we go can. back through things? Because there's a lot of things here. <laughs> All right. I'll do this one. Okay. This also has kind of a funny story because we were packing the box and we were just about done and we went, "This is going to be our first box without a feather in it." And then we're like, but it's Thanksgiving. You have to have a turkey feather in it. 
So you get a turkey feather. Actually, I think we forgot it was Thanksgiving. We did. But, until after. Yeah. I was like, wait, but it's Thanksgiving. But it, Is that lame? <laughs> it is a turkey feather anyway, but... These are kind of younger feathers than some of the others that they sell in the shop. Um, I, yeah, I was like, you have one like, right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, Normally so they're they, like this big. Yeah. So these are a little bit smaller, not only to fit in the box, but to also know, kind of denote that, you know, well, turkey's actually considered a bird of prey in my tradition, which is funny because you wouldn't think they're courageous enough to be a bird of prey, right? So to have this little fluffy reminder, they're super soft. Um, of, that turkey energy and this is a really good smudge feather for your house because it is a bird of prey feather um, yes. so you can use it with your smudges yes. and I love that it's young because all great things all big things start small yes and so it reminds us because <clears throat> sometimes that's hard like oh these steps are so small I can't move forward so yes okay um okay I'm gonna do this one I was gonna ask if you were gonna avoid that one. I know, go for it. <laughs> I was like, now I feel like you, you see this is what it's like when you get your kit and you're like, wait, why did they pick this for me? Yes. So, um, so this one also has a story. Everything in this kit has a story. This was probably one of the kits that was like the most. Okay, guys, what do we? What are we doing here? Okay, this. Okay, this. I don't know why we're putting this in, but we're putting this in. I mean, some of that happens every time. Right. But this time, I feel like all of it was that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is bare root. It's also called Asha root, Osha, Osha. Yeah. Asha. Mm -hmm. See, words I have a hard time with because humans make up the words. There, I'll just do two. One there, and you can look at my armpit. Love you guys. Okay, so it's very, very in interesting because I dropped off some medicine rattles on the way to do our planning meeting, and <laughs> I had some that was gifted to me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, have you ever worked with bare root? And I'm like, no, but yes, I want some. And she gave it to me, and then I look it up, and it's like having bare root gifted to you is actually more sacred and more of a protection than if you go and buy it. Yeah. So it's like these, consider these gifted in your boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, oh, there's so much good magic and medicine in these. They're actually a very, very sacred plant medicine, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about when we do our videos later. And how to use it. And right? how to use it yeah. properly. Um, because you might be like, you gave me a stick, but it, oh. it, and it's a root, yeah. but it does look like oh. kind of a stick. But and it smells like celery and tobacco. Yeah, he's like, it smells like celery. I'm like, no, it smells like tobacco. Wait, it's celery and, and tobacco, tobacco. Yeah. and there's well, multiple uses for it, but mm -hmm. oh, it is a magical piece, mm -hmm. and I have loved having mine on me. So there's some days where I take it and I'm like, and you're going with me today in my bra. Yeah. So <laughs> if I have like really pokey one day, just don't say anything. You're I'm not a robot. Tie it to your ankle. So, Interesting that yeah. we picked anklets. anklets. Mm -hmm. Oh, we yeah. can plan this stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, I, for some reason, it had to go on my left uh -huh. chest. So, on the days when I was told to, not every day. Right. Other days, I put it other places. Cool. That sounds really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever had a turkey chase you, you would believe they're a bird of prey. Yeah. <laughs> there you See? go. Yeah. It's true. My dad's really good at the turkey impression. Yeah. He really, really is. Okay. Well, you read up more about this one, because I specifically picked this, but it's the shape, the obelisk, that's very important. So we've got a lot of crystals in the boxes, but we've never given an obelisk before. This one happens to be tiger's eye. I think they'll be varied, right? They are varied ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll go over those in the videos, which each yes. one represent. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Big obelisk. Big obelisk. <laughs> More information to come. Okay, but I really like how huge these are. Like, you guys yeah. see, that's, like, significant. Okay. Yeah. See how big it is? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I want to do this yeah. one. Oh, for sure. That one was buried. Oh, was it was. Light? Oh, my lighter? I had it just right here. You did have a lighter right there? Oh, I did. You? Okay. Okay, so I have to light it because it looks better lit. Secret. Too legit. Too legit to fit. Ta da so this is a Himalayan salt candle holder, and originally we had planned to make them smaller, but this is part of why the box is so big, because we package them so they won't break. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so Himalayan salt is very purifying, very focus gaining, and there's a whole meditation that goes with lighting your Himalayan salt candle. Nice. But yeah, it's also a good detoxer, air cleaner, and we're inside more, the heater's on, blowing all that dust, all the allergies, it actually helps with it. 
the heat in the salt really releases negative ions. Like scientifically, like it's, it's so good for cool. your body, yeah. so good for your emotions. And you yes. need one in every room. So if you have a salt lamp already or something, you'll still need it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll still use this a lot, <laughs> a lot. <Yes. laughs> I like it. And we debated doing a light bulb versus a candle, but I like the candle because it's an actual flame. So everything in it is as symbolic as it is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Tessa would love to win. Good. I would love to win, and I, well, actually, we usually don't do kids for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we always no, forget. So we have to remember. Okay. All right. The next thing is the Courage Essential Oil Roller. We get an oil roller in the protection kit as well. Um, this one has aquamarine crystals in it. Is that right? Yes. yes. <laughs> I had to think about yes. that for a minute. Um, and it is, should I tell? No. Wait for the video to find out what's in it. But this is the best smelling blend I think we've done yet. It's a very masculine blend. Oh, it's so good. Oh. My whole house smells like it, actually, because I spilled bottle. <laughs> so that, that's why I don't have that true for me, because I dipped it on the counter. You know, it's funny, though. Normally, when I'm doing something with the kids and there's a strong smell in my house, my son's like, oh, what is that smell? You know, or sometimes if I have too many rawhides, because I make the drums yeah. and all the things, and so smells are interesting around my place. Um, my son came home, he didn't even say a word, and it was strong. It was so strong, it was like starting to give me a headache. Uh -huh. And I was like, really? You don't smell like it? He's like, no, it just smells fine. I was like, oh, good. Mm, you must have a lot of courage, child. Well, he's a Leo. I'll so, you know. see the lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I just click that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of lion and Leo, I'm going to do this one next time. Okay. Okay, so each kit, I get to do a piece of artwork, and originally this was just to have a crystal grid. But then it formed more into art because I couldn't find what I wanted for the grid just to like clip art. And so I get to create, but it's good for me because it forces me to like paint. So this is my first ever lion. But every one of these paintings <laughs> you do is just, just blows me away every, every time. I yeah. just love you. So it gives me a reason to push. So this is the crystal grid this time. And they're kind of designed in a way now that it gets to be, oh, I'm not, I don't want to cover your head. It gets to be something that you have as like a reminder visual or you can use for your grid. I'll just zoom. Yeah. I'm like, the light's kind of funky. So there's symbology here at the bottom and there's instruction on where you place all the crystal items, but it's been really fun. So, uh -huh. and I tried to avoid the lion, believe it or not. Like oh, I was really? like, I'm not doing a lion. Everybody does a lion for courage. This is supposed to be something to branch you outside because the part of the purpose with the kit is not just to provide you with like, information and crystals it's to give you stuff that you normally wouldn't go and think to get so you could have a deeper feeling a deeper moving through an emotion and so i'm like oh the lion's so overdone nope no. spirit was like no you're doing a lion and i was like okay lioness or a lion and i'm like no a big lion with a beautiful mane and if you look it kind of looks more like a lioness than a lion it just depends um, i'm curious though drop a line and let us know do you think it looks more like a lioness or like the male lion because i've heard it both ways it's one of those where you can look at it both ways and like. I know. I'm curious yeah. if we have more masculine mm. or feminine, but the lioness, she's the one who does like the hunting and everything, and, and the masculine lion, he's the protector. So it depends on what you're going oh, for. That's beautiful. So unless the lionesses get together in a pack and protect the whole. Yeah. Herd, the, all the pack, cubs, the whole. Call, yeah. Pride. So, is pride. pride. Yes. Yay. I was like. <laughs> Oh, good thing spirit leads me and yeah. I don't have to know everything. <laughs> so there is some deeper symbology with the lion and also the symbols in here. There's an affinity symbol and there's a heart symbol, of course, mm -hmm. that lion heart. Yeah. So yeah, I can't make this stuff up. This is what they told me. And so anyways, that's my fun. Well, speaking of the lion, your tarot card this month is also has, features another lion. Mm -hmm. It is the strength card. And we will go into that in the meditations. To come. Yes. Yes. And everybody who's gotten a kit that's giving me feedback on the meditation, bricks are their favorite. Oh, thanks. They love them. They're like, they're just so good. And I'm like, they are good. <laughs> if you cry, it's a good thing. Yep. If you laugh, it's a good thing. If you just relax, it's a good thing. It's nice. If you fall asleep, it's a good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it because you give the freedom to not have it be wrong. Yes. So, yay. Okay. And you don't have to be a meditating person in order to. Yeah, no, it's kind of visual guided at least okay. a little bit. Do you have a preference between these two? Uh, no. Okay, I'll do this one. Okay. So the next one in the kit is a red tiger's eye. So we have the traditional tiger's eye, but this one's red. Well, for some of you. This one too, yeah. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> There's two. I keep finding see. rocks in the box. <laughs> hey, that's like my world. <laughs> Everyone says, you, you drop like fairy dust everywhere, but it's not fairy dust, it's crystals. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'll move in for our other cameras and kind of see. So red tiger's eye is, tiger's eye initially ties in with that passion and that inspiration and that movement. But when you add the fierce redness, it's like support movement and not just support for you, but support for others. So this is really powerful for those people wanting to move forward to make actual change in the world, in their communities, in their families, especially now. The earth needs you. So this will help to light some fire and support and that intuition to pull forward. That's so funny because as we were talking about this, I'm like, every time I sit with this stone, it's like, it, it, the words come to mind, light a fire under your ass. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> light a fire under your ass stone. Yeah. You know, and they're small enough. You could even just... Oh, like... no. <laughs> Okay, so there's a, there, there's a really funny video of a lady who puts crystals. Anyways, okay. Focus. You, see, it does, you don't have to be serious to have spiritual and no. strength and guidance. And sometimes that humor is what makes it easier. Spirit always tells us to play more. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Oh, yeah, you get quartz, too, because you can't have enough of it. And it's also a pointed quartz. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. It's a point. So those are really, really powerful for crystal grids because they create that direction uh -huh. and all of your energy and your focus. So it's just perfect for focus perfect. and clarity and just decision making and yes. cleansing and all the above. Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. So last uh -huh. but not least, oh, I guess I can announce it because it's my turn. Yeah. It's like the flower. He loves me. He loves me not. Whose turn is it? Okay. Well, actually, there's a crystal. Let's see. Uh, okay. So this is the epic, here, I'll give you that. So this is a reusable tea bag, and this is the tea that we got from Apothecary. This is Dandy Spice, and it's funny because we gave her this beautiful challenge because we're like, we need dandelion. Like, they were so clear, you need dandelion. Oh, another lion. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm lost to the party. Ah. I didn't realize that <laughs> um, If you're pregnant, do not drink this tea, give it away. Okay? Or give it to your family. Um, but dandelion is one of the most ancient healing herbs that exist. How is it? Are you tasting it now? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ugh. Carrie, you've outdone yourself. That's my favorite yeah. one. Well, yet. and you steep it for a long time. Yeah. 10 to 20 minutes. So it's one of the more patients are required. Um, dandelion is very, very bitter. So yeah. that's why I'm like curious. So okay. it has dandelion, black pepper, Shandra. Shandra. I that's said, the oil. The, the that's what we had in the last one. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the heart healing. So it helps to pull that heart space in. Um, ginger, fennel, lots of good, delicious stuff. Oh, she actually wrote this warming tea will get your internal fires going and also bring balance. It's like an encouraging inside hug that brings calm, peaceful, and courage. It's a little spicy, like chai, right? Didn't she say kind of? She's been doing a lot of chais lately, which is awesome. It got a little cold. Sorry. We talked too long. Mm -hmm. Oh. That is good. Because mm -hmm. I can taste the dandelion, yeah. but it's not bitter at all. And I nope. drink bitter dandelion tea. Oh, yeah. Because I like the benefits. So that comes in. Huge old chunk of it. Yep. And then you get the reusable tea bag. And Carrie also included a piece of citrine. Yes. And they are beautiful and honey colored, just as they should be. Not orange, right? Yes. <laughs> And you can actually, you I can asked her if you can put it in your tea, and she said, steep it first, and then put it in your tea, and then you can drink your tea, but don't, don't swallow it. And then stir it with the bear root. Yes. Mm. Oh, and you can okay. reuse the bear root. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then after you use it, yeah, you can put it on your crystal grid for the citrine. Yeah. So, hey, you can drink it, do your grid, drink your tea, set your intentions, is place it, it on your grid. Is it roasted dandelion or regular? Roasted. That would make it sweeter, huh? Ah, now I know the secrets. Mm -hmm. Mwah. You have good eyesight. I'm like, I can't wait that long. <laughs> Carrie, you're amazing. She's so brilliant. She is. Ugh. I just love her. She got her drum, drum today, today, too. Yep. <laughs> so I'll be sharing that piece. I think she tagged me in it, but mm -hmm. I don't know what she did. But yeah, talk about some powerful animal medicine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's also a bear in it. 
It's a bear hide and we have bear root. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, so that is our beautiful kit. So if you subscribed, yours is going out tomorrow. So it'll be available at Dixie Rock and Fossil or it will be available in your mailbox. And if you haven't subscribed, you're at the point now where we're doing just enough for the subscribers. So subscribe now for next month's kit. Um, we will do a few extras. We so have like a little bit of extra. If you missed it, you can still order one, but it's really tight. So hurry and order So that. like, yep. do it soon. Yeah. Because going forward, we're not going to have as many surplus. Nope. Ooh, it's exciting. It's cool. But yeah, but we felt like we needed to order a little bit extra because there's people who needed them. Right. But yeah, so go to my website, thebeautyperspective.com. There's a link. It says emotion empowerment boxes. Click the courage one. Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, we'll tag. Yep. And then subscribe now. You don't get billed till the end of the month. Oh, yes. For the next box, which is comfort for yes. December. You want some December comfort. The nice thing yeah. is, is you can gift them too. So if you know somebody that needs courage, um, recently we did the Red Drum Project and they're out buying the vehicle today right now. Awesome. And yeah, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've got a vehicle for the children in the orphanage in Haiti so they can go to school. And it's interesting because I said, well, I want to continue the Red Drum Project and all the Red Drums I want to go towards a cause. So who needs some support? And I have a lot of people that reach out like, oh, this person and this person. I'm like, well, they could all use the Courage Kit. So if you know somebody who's struggling right now, it's a good time to get them something that will actually give them support because they're getting the videos, they're getting the information, they're getting tangible tools, they're getting things that help the body and the unconscious mind. And yes, so. Awesome. Or the calmness next month is going to be fantastic oh, yeah. too. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. Oh, I can see it now. <laughs> well, 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 I'll be seeing the inside of my eyelids because I'll be so calm. I'll be like, mm. that's right. <laughs> yeah, and all the time. I'll have to paint like eyeballs on my eyes. Lids, you know, like yeah. Jack Sparrow, because uh -huh. yeah. I'm so calm that I don't need to even see what's going on. You perfect? Yeah, I love my own bed sometimes. <laughs> that was very nice. Now, okay, well, thank you for joining us. You, don't forget about you. the giveaway. We're giving one of them away. Like, comment, share. Yes. Tag somebody who needs some courage. Yep. Or even tag them and say, "Hey, this box reminds me of you because oh. you're so strong and courageous. Yeah. They could probably use some advice." Yeah. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks Talk for letting us share. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I gotta get up there. <laughs> How do I turn this one off? <laughs> oh, mine turned off a long time ago. Oh, it did? Yeah. I didn't do it right. That one's still going. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mine didn't go right.